Hola mis chulas and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a Benjini's food. If you guys are new here and you don't know who Benjini is, Benjini is Benji, my um, adopted bebe. He is a Lhasa Apso and Havanese mix. I think he's a Havanese. When I adopted him, they told us he was a Shih Tzu, but I see more of Havanese in him. So this is what I feed him. I make this about every, I would say like two and a half weeks. I actually started doing this when we had Mushka, um, which was our uh, uh, blue nose pit. And once he was diagnosed with cancer, I did a ton of research and realized that kibble is really, really bad for dogs. So once I found that out, I made sure to change his diet. And I started off by obviously doing my research and figuring, it, figuring out what I could feed him. So I actually, have seen a ton of like uh, food companies or dog food companies that make this which are a bit amazing if you don't have the time to make it those would be amazing it is a little bit more expensive because obviously it is already prepped and cooked for you um so again doing my research i wanted to find something that was a little bit more um cost effective especially because mushkini um he was a like 100 pound dog and 115 20 pound dog at his prime um so he was a big dog so he ate a lot so i knew it was gonna be expensive um if i was gonna be buying that food so with all my research i found just food for dogs a btw this is not sponsored but Hit me up if you guys want to sponsor me. <laughs> um, this is the brand Just Food for Dogs. So they have actual brick and mortars. You could go into the store, you can buy the stuff. They have online, you can order it, you can get it delivered, already cooked. Uh, not cooked, yeah, cooked. Um, but I, but like I said, I knew that that once I calculated that, I think I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, it was gonna be like four hundred dollars a month, and I said. So then I was like, okay, there's gotta be something else I can do. I can either start making his food, but I was scared that if I made his food, I would be missing some nutrients or vitamins that he needed that I wasn't aware of. So I'm um, finding just food for dogs. They have this and it is the do it yourself nutrient blend. So what this is, is that this is the powder. That's a new one that I uh, have as backup. This is their nutrient blend that has all their vitamins, all their nutrients. So everything that, that they need um, is in this powder as far as like vitamins. And then you get this little pamphlet. And in this pamphlet, it gives you the recipe. Now there's different kinds of recipes. This is a beef recipe. There's chicken, there's beef, there's lamb. Um, and there's other, I think like fish, I'm not sure. But I went with the beef because I felt that these were ingredients that were very attainable. Like they were very easy to find at the store, which is why I picked this recipe. And this is the, what are you call? This is the beef and russet potato recipe. So in this little tin, you get the powder, the nutrient blend, and you get this pamphlet, which gives you the entire recipe. So it gives you a full recipe and it gives you a half recipe. It tells you exactly what you need, which I will show you guys. Um, it gives you um, how to prep it and how to cook it. It's very, very easy. It seems a little like intimidating in the beginning because you're thinking like, oh my God, it's a lot of stuff. But once you kind of get into the hang of things, it becomes a lot easier. So um, I will tell you guys what you need if you want to start doing this. It, it is a little time consuming, like I said, but once you get into like the rhythm of things, um, it, it becomes a lot easier and it's so worth it because you see it in their energy, you see it in their coat, um, and it's just such a much healthier option than giving them kibble. Like think about, I've heard that kibble can sit on shelves for years and nothing will happen to it. So there's so much preservative in that. It's just, it's not good for them. So um, what you will need, what, what I recommend you get is a scale. So I have a food scale. This you can get on Amazon. Um, you are going to need these. Well, you don't need them, but I think I this may, has made it a lot easier for me. These um, bags that you can freeze the food. So for Benji, because he's a much smaller dog, he only eats two scoops of his food. He eats one cup of food a day and we split it so he gets half in the morning, half at night. Um, and in between he gets a ton of snacks and his snacks are always like veggies very very healthy um someone asked me that they weren't sure how much to feed their dog i suggest you call the vet tell them they'll know based on their weight based on the type of dog and all of that so our vet told us that he should be eating a, a cup of food a day so that's, that's what we do and we just split it morning and night um so the scale the bag 
and um that's pretty much it you i do want to get one of those like choppers to make this a lot faster because again it is a lot of prep but once you get the hang of it it's not that bad so aside from the recipe aside from the from the meat and the veggies that you're gonna need you are also going to need omega plus now you don't need this but i like to include it in his in his food because this is obviously a fish oil this is going to help with his skin if you have a dog that has allergies this would be good and then you also need safflower seed oil so you're going to drizzle this onto the food i got this um at whole foods uh, very easy to find i mean it's just regular oil and the great thing about this recipe is that it tells you it breaks down exactly what every veggie what uh, what what benefits every veggie has so and and everything else you're putting so for example the safflower oil contains essential omega-6 fatty acids and and these are going to help for like their bones and their skin and it's just it's just good stuff um so uh it tells you like the the benefits of every single veggie that you're putting into his food so as far as the food goes sorry if this is like super long but the full recipe is five pounds of ground beef. Now I like to get, I think it's an 80-20 that they recommend you get. Yeah, an 80-20, so 80-20, 80-15 I think it says. Yeah, 80-20 or 80-15. Um, you can get grass-fed, you can get organic, you can get whatever you like. So we get the ground beef. Um, then you are going to need sweet potato, russet potato now the recipe calls for three um the full recipe calls for three pounds five nine ounces sorry if i'm squinting i don't have my glasses but the recipe calls for three pounds nine ounces of russet potato now for me that's a little too carby i don't want to give them too many carbs so i just kind of supplement the rest with other veggies uh for example the the recipe does not have um broccoli in it but i know that broccoli is really really good for him so instead of doing three pounds nine ounces of russet i will do i think it's a pound and a half of the russet potato and then another pound and a half of broccoli so that's going to like you know um fill in what i'm not giving him in carbs and then there's also carrots green beans and apple you can do red or you can do green and then his oils so that's pretty much it it's not very it's not a lot what is a lot is the prep work. So what I do is I open up this big old thing of beef. So I get this at the grocery store. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what this costs, again, this is for Benji. He is a medium-sized dog. He's 24 pounds. Um, the meat itself costs $31, depending. If I go to Whole Foods and get it, today I was at Sprouts, so I got it at Sprouts. But when I go to Home Foods, Whole Foods, I get grass-fed. So it'll be about $50 just in meat. Um, so it's $50 for this, and then what, veggies, probably like another $10, $15. It's not a lot on veggies, so it's about, I would say about $50 to $60, depending on the type of meat you get. Um, and this will last us about two and a half weeks, the full recipe that we give him. And so I put it, I prep it all, put it in these bags, and then I freeze it the night before. I take out the bag, I thaw it, and then he's ready to eat. So just keep that in mind as far as cost. Obviously, the bigger your dog, the more expensive. When we had Mushkini... We were spending about, we were making this about every week. So we were spending roughly $200 a month on his on his food. But for me, there was no expense, especially because he was, you know, he had cancer and I wanted to make sure that I fed him the absolute best because I wanted him to get better. Um, so we're gonna take the meat out, boom, boom. And I cook, so I cook the meat in one um i start cooking the meat in one pot and then i cook the harder veggies uh separate so like the potatoes i'll cook them separate you don't have to do that i just do that to make the process a little bit faster so i'm just going to dump the meat in here and this is all five pounds of carnita and your dog will love you forever with this food so this is the carne so i'm just going to turn it put this over high heat not high heat medium heat when you're making it it actually smells really good you can eat it because obviously it's just veggies and carne now if you have a smaller dog like a like a very small dog um obviously five pounds of food is a lot because they eat very little so you can also do the half recipe um so it does have a full and it does have a half i do the full just because it lasts a little bit longer um it's still fresh enough like it's not like it's sitting in the freezer for like a month it's literally the longest it sits in the freezer is two and a half weeks that's the absolute longest sometimes two weeks it just depends um 
But yeah, so obviously you're gonna wanna wash all your veggies. I'm gonna get the strainer and I'm gonna throw all the veggies in here that I need to, oh, actually this apple's already washed. And if you're wondering why that apple is cut up is because we gave it to him as uh, his lunch today. So I'm just gonna throw this in here as well as the broccoli. And you wanna wash everything really, really good. And then once I wash this, I'll wash the potatoes. You don't need to peel anything. Um, the skin, the, it says to, to cut it with the skin. So we're just, make sure you wash the, I normally use a veggie wash, but I, I ran out. So I'm just gonna make sure I thoroughly, thoroughly wash especially because the skin is going to stay on the veggies. Okay, so I've already washed everything, so I'm gonna start cutting the potatoes just because I feel like this is the hardest thing to cut. Um, another thing, Dennis really helps me while I'm cutting one thing, he's cutting something else so it goes a lot faster. But I'm gonna start with the potatoes because like I said, it's really hard to cut and ain't nobody got time. So let's cut that. As you guys can see, I cut up the potato. So this is all the potato, the russet potato and the sweet potato. Majority of it is russet because it's two of them. And what I like to do to kind of speed up the process is have a pot of boiling water already going. So you bring yourself so that they, the potatoes cook faster because these take a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna throw them in the water. And because the water's already boiling, They'll cook a lot faster. And then once they're fully cooked, I'm gonna um, mix them in with the meat. Because they're so small also, that's another thing, you wanna make sure you cut your everything bite size, especially if your dog is small. Um, they're gonna cook fast. But now the carne is done, and it, it does release a lot of juice. So we actually pour some of this juice, not all of it, but most of it out um before we we mix it in with the veggies so because it's almost fully done i'm gonna actually end up mixing normally i would mix in the other veggies in here but because this is probably like 90 percent done when these are about 80 percent done i'm gonna throw in the rest of the fruit uh, i mean the rest of the veggies so i finished cutting up the carrot the pea the string beans and the broccoli since the potato is almost done, I'm just going to pour it in here slowly so that we don't burn ourselves. But look at how pretty. Look at these colors for our bebés. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Look at that. The little string beans. We're just going to mix it in. And you obviously are not going to put any kind of seasoning, you know, salt, absolutely nothing, no oils, nothing. The only oil that goes in here is the safflower and the omega, the fish oil. I have this giant bowl and this is where I add the meat. So as you guys can see, the meat is fully cooked. The fat that was released, I poured it out about, I would say like 80% of it. And once everything cools down, that's when you add the powder, the nutrient blend and the oils. And look who's here supervising, making sure that I make his food correctly. Are you excited? He gets so excited. I'm going to give him a little bit of carnita because it's already cooked. He, lo he loves it. All right, once veggies are done, we are going to strain all the water. Okay, so once you're ready to mix, then you're going to add a little bit at a time. So as you guys can see, I, I added just a tad bit, mixed it up. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more, mix it up again, add a little bit more, mix it up until it's all fully mixed because you wanna make sure that when you feed your pup, they're getting a mixture of everything. Okay, so this is what your food sh or your pup's food should look like when you're done making it. And as you guys can see, it's super, super colorful, which means it's gonna be really healthy. You know what's in their food, which is the best part of it all. Um, you don't have to guess because you it's literally fresh and healthy and they're going to love it uh, Once this cools down then it's time to add the safflower oil as well as the omega as well as their nutrient blend And then it's ready. You just package it however you want. I like to do it uh, for two days per bag uh, Freeze it and then that's it. 
So it seems like a lot of work, but I promise you once you get into like the hang of things, it'll be, it, it'll go a lot faster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I will link the nutri nutrient blend, um, I was gonna say downstairs, <laughs> in the description as well as anything else that I can remember, I will link it down below for you guys. Oh, the bags that I use and all of that. I will link everything down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys make it. Send me pictures. I want to see what you guys make. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Um, I think as long as you start giving them tons of veggies and fruits, you're already doing them a huge, huge favor. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.